But let's talk about the plays. Take us through these two plays. All right, the difference, this is a 5-4 to four game. The difference in this game is the Cubs execute a play at home, and, and, and the Padres do not. So this is a great stop by Hosmer. Listel is coming home, but you see A.J. Ellis. I, I think catchers are confused on what they're allowed to do when blocking the play. He falls down, and he's going towards third base. He didn't move his feet, and what I would have loved to have seen is I would have loved to have seen A.J. Ellis kind of step. Now, here's, here's the situation with the Cubs. This is a great play by Javi Baez. What a reaction. Travis Jankowski on third base, and the first thing you're going to see is his lead is not big enough. You can get off as much as the third baseman is away. You're relying on your third base coach to tell you if you need to get back. If he does that, Javi Baez does not go home. But when you see this play by Javi Baez, and this is why I think he's an MVP candidate because of the defense he offers. Quick reaction, good strong throw. Carantini stays on his feet, moves to the ball on his feet, not going to his knees, steps in, blocks home plate. You can block home plate mm -hmm. once you have the ball. Right. And what I saw from A.J. Ellis is A.J. Ellis started to fall to his knees like this, try to catch it in a sweep tag, opposed to going here, getting it, stepping in, and taking the plate away. We were always taught that you put your foot on the corner of the plate towards third base. Yep. You're giving them that to slide. They're seeing it. Because you got to remember, they're coming at an angle like this most of the time. That's even before the slide rule is put in. I thought Correct. that so you wouldn't break your leg, too. Well, it is, partly. You don't ever want to put your knee like this because then your knee is in but can jeopardy. You, can you do that uh, today? Yes, you can do this rule? because you're giving them the back end, edge of the okay, plate. Okay, okay. So we were always taught that you're here, and, and you have to get low, almost right. like an infielder. Too many guys want to stand up. Sometimes they do it to deke the runner like nothing's coming in. Boop, you know, they do that. Right, right. But you want to get low. So when the ball comes in, you catch it, you step in, and you drive this knee into the ground and drive them away. Hmm. And you put your hand on the ball. Ball, please. You're going to catch it. I don't come in. I'm going to step in, and I'm going to drive this knee, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit you. And I use the glove to kind of fend you off. But when you saw A.J. Ellis fall, he got in a bad position. And right. I know it was a tough throw by Hosmer. Well, but you got to be light on your feet, almost yeah, like and, an infielder. And I think you said something in the middle of that, that catchers are a little bit confused because of giving the lane. Yes. And where to stand. So what did you teach with your catcher? Same thing. Put your foot right here. Regardless. Put your foot right here. It's, it's the safest. I know some teams teach stay behind the plate and go into it. Hmm. Because then they have a whole clear lane and there's no, no, no there's no confusion. Mm. But I'm not blocking the whole plate. And my argument was this, was we used to teach us, well, if he's coming straight down the line, you really kind of are. But they let you have it because you have the back end of the plate to slide it. And one of the things that I think is confusing for catchers is they don't block the plate anymore because they're right. afraid that they're going to get banged. Yeah. And they don't want the contact. And these guys are all sliding so much different now. They're, they're all, all coming, sliding yeah. like this. Yep. And that, so, I don't like that at all. No. And, and that's terrible. actually how Glaber Torres got hurt. Yeah. That's how he tore his it, UCL in his left arm. Yeah. But now, real quick, uh, we saw the runner at third base in, in, for San Diego. Jen, uh, Travis Jankowski. Jankowski. Yes. Yeah. Would you go back? I know Baltimore Orioles do this. Buck Showalter does that a lot. Go back and look at that play and video and break it down and explain it. Like yes. at a team meeting, he does that and says, hey, here's the situation, guys. Here's where you need to be. As a teaching tool, because that's what you got to do now in the big leagues. Especially if you have a young team, which so many teams are. Any chance, anytime you get a chance to teach, I think you have to teach. And what I really believe would cost them play was two things. He didn't get a big enough lead, and he didn't trust that his third base coach would tell him if he needed to get back.